Good afternoon, Yellow Dim, and welcome back for more children's Torah stories. Do you remember what we learned about last time? We had King Shaul, who did a lot of good things, but he also did some things that were not so good. He didn't always listen properly to Hashem. When Hashem said, I want you to wait seven days till Shmuel comes, and then go fight the Plishtim. He didn't wait the whole time. He went to go fight the Plishtim before Shmuel came. And then when Hashem said, chase away all the bad people from Amalek, every single bad person from Amalek, get them out of here, they're so bad. He chased away almost all of them, but he kept the animals around and he kept the king and Shmuel had to chase the king away himself and then Shmuel said Shaul I'm sorry to tell you Hashem said you cannot be the king of the Jewish people for much longer I'm gonna have to find someone else who will be the king of the Jewish people instead of you <laughs> King Shaul was very sad but that's how it goes the end of the day, we need a king who is going to listen so, so nicely to Hashem. And King Shaul just, I'm afraid to say, wasn't doing that. Well, Hashem says to Shmuel, Shmuel, I know that you have been as sad as sad can be because you love Shaul and you were so happy that he was the king. But... You need to go and find the person who will be the next king. And I'm going to start by telling you his dad's name. His dad's name is Yeshai. Can you all say Yeshai, Yeladim? Yeshai. Well, says Hashem, Shmuel, I want you to go to Yeshai's home. You will meet his family. And one of his sons is going to be the next king of the Jewish people. But Shmuel said, but Hashem, I'm scared to go. Because if Shaul hears that I'm on my way to go and choose a new king, maybe he's going to put me in jail or something like that. Hashem said, okay, Shmuel, if you are scared, then what you do is you take a cow along with you. And if anyone wants to know where are you going with that cow, you will say, I am taking the cow as a present for Hashem. That's what you need to say. So then you're not going to get in trouble because you're not going to go around saying, oh, I'm going to find a new king because Shaul's not going to be the king anymore. So no one's going to catch you. No one's going to put you in trouble. You can just take your cow. Moo. Just take your cow around and you will tell anyone who asks, I'm going to give this cow as a present to Hashem. So Shaul said, okay. And off he went to the home of Yeshai. And along he went. He came to a city called Beit Lechem. Sometimes it's called Bethlehem in English. It's Bethlehem. In Hebrew, it's Beit Lechem. Off he went to the city of Beit Lechem. And when he arrived, he said, I'm giving a present to Hashem. And he gave the cow as a present to Hashem. And some people came and said to him, um, Excuse me, Shmuel, why are you here? Are you here to tell us to fight someone? Or are you here for something like that? No, no, don't worry. Nothing like that. I'm here to give a present to Hashem and to have a special party. And please make sure that Yeshai and all his children come to the special party. Okay, we will. Yeshai and all your children, please come. You're having a special party with Shmuel. Well, along came Yeshai who was a big, strong, good man. And Yeshai came along with a whole bunch of sons. Hi, Shmuel. 
Hello, Yeshai. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for the invitation. I brought all my sons. I heard you wanted to meet them. Oh, yes, I do. Let me take a good look at each of them. Because Shmuel is trying to figure out which of these sons will be the next king of the Jewish people. Do you know, Yeladim, which of the sons will be the next king? Do you know what his name's going to be? Well, Shmuel is looking at all of them and he sees Eliav. Eliav is the oldest, the biggest and the strongest. So brave. He loves Hashem. He loves doing the right thing. He seems like the right person. Shmuel said, Ah, Hashem, I think I found the next king. It's Eliav. Hashem said, No, 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 Shmuel. I am sorry. You made a mistake. You can just see Eliab from the outside. You can see that he's brave and strong and good and loves Hashem and is good to people. That's all good. That's all fine. But did you know that Eliab has got a lot of anger inside him? Eliab can get very cross for no good reason. Do you think Eliab should be the king of the Jewish people, Yeladim? No, no, no. You cannot have a king like that who gets so cross for no good reason. So Hashem said, sorry Shmuel, that's the wrong one. Okay, no problem. Let's meet the next one. Avinadav. Hmm, Avinadav. He seems pretty good. What do you think, Hashem? No, no, no. Avinadav is not the one to be the next king of the Jewish people. Uh, okay, let's try Shama. Is Shama going to be the king of the Jewish people, Hashem? No, no, no. Not Shama either. Well, that's number one, number two, number three. Son number four, no. Son number five. No. Son number six? No. Son number seven? No. He looked at all seven sons of Yeshai and Hashem said no to all of them. So now Shmuel's trying to work out what's going on. Hashem said, go to Yeshai. One of his sons will be the next king of the Jewish people. He said, Yeshai, please can I meet your sons? Yeshai showed him all seven sons. And what did Hashem say about all seven sons? Yes or no? No. So what's he supposed to do now? Hashem said it's one of the sons, but then Hashem said it's not any of the sons. Ha ah, ha suddenly Shmuel got an idea. Yeshai. Yes. Are these all of your sons? Well, kind of. Um, I also have a youngest son, number eight. But he is busy taking care of the sheep. Well, why don't you bring him for lunch? I would very much like to meet him. Do you know what this son's name is, Yeladim? The, seven, the eighth son, the youngest son of them all. He arrived for the lunch. He was strong and handsome and bright-eyed. And his name was David or David. And Shmuel looked at him and Shmuel said, Hashem, is this the right one? Yes, yes, yes. David is going to be the next king of the Jewish people. Sometimes we call him King David. Sometimes we call him David HaMelech. But he was the smallest of Yeshai's sons. And Yeshai didn't even think of him. When Shmuel said, please bring all your sons, he only brought the first seven. He didn't even think of David. Isn't that interesting? That sometimes you have somebody... 
that people think is so important. Like Eliav and Hashem said, no. And then you have somebody who people think is not important as all, at all. It's just a normal little guy. But actually, it could be he is the most important of all. And he is going to be so great and help so many people. It's very special to remember that. Well, at that day, Hashem said, Shmuel, take the special oil. I don't know if you remember, Yaladim, when Shaul became king, Hashem, uh, Shmuel used the special oil. Shmuel used the special oil. Put that on David's head. And he is going to become the king of the whole Jewish people. He won't start running the show. He won't stop being the king straight away. But that means that he is now ready to be the king when the time is right. And Shmuel put that oil uh, on David's head. And now David was ready one day to become king the next king of the Jewish people. Well, in the meantime, Shaul started getting sick. But it wasn't a kind of sickness like Corona. <coughs> no, no. He was not coughing. This was a sickness in his head. This was a sickness that made him behave in a strange way. He would sometimes... Get sad for no reason. <coughs> he would sometimes get angry for no reason. <coughs> he would sometimes start fighting with people for no reason. <coughs> and he really was not very well at all. But he didn't know what to do. And then one of his friends came to him and said... King Shaul, I have an idea. I know you are feeling a bit sick and that you're not always feeling like yourself and you're not always feeling good. My idea is go find somebody who can play you some beautiful music with a beautiful harp called a lyre. Lyre is a kind of harp. Go find someone who can play you some beautiful music and then whenever you start feeling so bad or not well, you can listen to that beautiful music and you will feel better. That's a great idea. Please find me somebody who can play the lyre, who can play that special harp. And please bring him to me so that I can try. Well, I actually did hear about somebody who is so excellent with playing music. He is a son of Yeshai. I don't know if you know Yeshai from Beit Lechem, but he's got eight children. And his son, David, is so good with music. He makes such beautiful music. Why don't you invite him? And Shaul said, great idea. Dear David, he wrote a letter. Dear David. Please will you come, or he sent one of his people, tell David, dear David, please will you come and play music for me. <laughs> hello David, hello, hello, who are you? I am a messenger from King Shaul and he says, please will you come and make music for me. And Yeshai heard this and Yeshai said, wow David, what a wonderful opportunity. Take the donkey with some bread and some wine and off you go to King Shaul to make music for him. Okay, Dad, I will. Bye, brothers. And off he went and he arrived at the palace. And Shaul said, hello, young man. I am King Shaul. Hello, sir. I am David. I've heard that you can play music. Yes, I can. I would love to play some music for you. Hashem helps me play beautiful music. And he started playing. Da na 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 da 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 na da da na na da na 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 na. That's really Beethoven, but I'm just pretending. Da da na na da da na na da da na 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 na. Oh, that is so beautiful. 
What beautiful music, David. I want you please to stay here with me and play your beautiful music whenever I start feeling sad. Yes, I will, with pleasure. I will write a letter back to your dad to say that you are going to stay here with me and make such beautiful music. Okay, thank you. And that is what happened, Jeladim. So, David went from just being the youngest brother who used to take care of the sheep to suddenly being the next king of the Jewish people and the one who would play the beautiful music for Shaul. But there is more to come because the Plishtim are meanwhile getting stronger again and getting ready to attack the Jewish people once more. And there's going to be all kinds of exciting stories ahead. But I'll tell you next time. Bye.